night. Good morning, friends. I would not put my face that close because if he does jump up, his claws are a little sharp this um, go around. Go ahead and back up for me. Everybody needs to back up. Thank you. So we don't get to do this a lot because Draco has kind of been in a grumpy mood, I guess, for the last few months. Um, really all school year. I think this creeps a little bit louder than last year's class. But something special we like to kind of do when he's out in his tank um, and is being happy dragon is we like to do dragon recess. So he gets to come out and the kids get a chance to pet him and they get a chance to, oh, I think we have a special visitor. Oh, he's like, hey, wait, are you talking about me? I sure am talking about you. And he's got on, his Draco. friend next door. Door is coming for a visit as well. Now, we can't put Scooter and Draco together because the last time we put Scooter and Draco together, Scooter found Draco's tail to be very tasty, and uh, he decided he was going to take a bite of Draco's tail. So, anyway, it's really cool. Um, if you've not had an opportunity to check out pets in the classroom, highly recommend it. The kids absolutely adore him. They get to kind of learn about responsibility for pets that maybe they wouldn't necessarily have at home. Um, they get to learn more about that specific animal, their eating habits. Um, with Draco, he he is, <laughs> he is a desert animal, so we do have the heat lamp. But again, this is Mrs. Burnett's first grade class at Call Elementary. Um, and my kids, go ahead and spread back out. Remember, he doesn't like it when you are too close. And this is our dragon recess. 